Hey everyone, a complex back with another video and today, well, today we're going to chat about how to combine the dot DAI mods and the frosty mods. So in that way you can use both when playing Dragon Age Inquisition. One thing to note is that I do have previous tutorials on how to use each of the different mod managers. And if you don't know how to use one or both of them, I'd highly suggest checking out those tutorials now and then coming back to learn how to combine them as this tutorial is going to be based on the fact that you already know how to do dot DAI modding as well as frosty modding. Now to get started, you're going to want to navigate over to the Dragon Age folder that houses your Dragon Age.exe. In both of the previous modding tutorials, I showed you how to find it. Within that folder, you're going to want to click on the update folder to open it up. And then you're going to want to copy the patch folder that is located within that. Now I cannot stress this next step enough and how important it is, but you're going to want to make a copy of that patch folder and keep it somewhere very, very safe where you know you won't lose it or um, accidentally overwrite it or anything like that. So I might suggest a navigating over to that .dai modding folder I had you create way back when for the .dai modding tutorial and copy it there. Now, I might even go one step further and suggest creating two versions of it. I'd say to create one that is called patch clean. So then that way you know that that is a perfectly clean patch folder. It's never been touched, anything like that. And then paste it again into that same folder and just leave it called patch. And now what you're going to want to do is install your .dai mods as normal. And once that they are fully installed and merged, I would suggest uh, opening up your game, running through, making sure that everything that you've installed has installed correctly and you're not noticing any wonkiness. Once that is done, it's time to head on to the next step. You want to go back into that Dragon Age Inquisition.exe folder that we used at the start of this tutorial. You want to reopen up the update folder and then you should see that you have a patch and now a patch underscore mod manager merge folder. You might have actually had that at the start of the tutorial if you were already using the .dai mod format. Now the next step, you can do one of two ways and I'll talk you through both of them. The first way would be to open up the patch underscore mod manager merged folder and copy all of the contents and then paste them into the patch folder that is in the update folder, not the backup copy I had you made a while ago, but the one that is currently in the patch folder. And you will be prompted to overwrite the existing files and you just wanna click yes to that. Now, the second method that you can do instead is just delete that patch folder that you have in the update folder and then rename the patch underscore mod manager merge folder to just patch. So then that way you now have a clean patch file that has everything from the .dai mod format. Now, before you leave this folder, I would suggest kind of navigating back a little bit so you can see the dragonage.exe and making sure you don't have a mod data folder. The mod data folder is from a frosty mods. So if you've played around with frosty mods in Dragon Age Inquisition before, you might have one of these folders in your game. You want to make sure that that's deleted before trying to launch the game with your new frosty mods and your .dai mods merged together. So once that mod data folder is deleted, should you have already had it, it's time to go ahead and install your frosty mods and you can take check out my frosty mods tutorial if you have any questions on how to make that work and now once you have your frosty mods ready to go you're just going to want to use your frosty mod manager and hit the launch option at the top to start your game and that's it you should have both mod files working correctly together now if you're not sure what you want to start with as far as frosty mods go i would suggest starting with a proof of concept mod that would allow you to make sure that everything is working correctly together for myself personally i decided to load in with the winter in thetis a season overhaul mod by caffeine painter and that would be a fantastic mod to start with just because you'll be able to quickly and easily see whether or not everything is working together as far as the frosty side of it goes now that you've successfully launched both .dai mods and frosty mods together it's time to talk about a few very very important facts the first being if at any point you do decide to change out your .dai mods load order there is going to be a few additional steps compared to what you used to do the first being that you're going to need to create a clean patch folder now what i mean by that is that because we took the mod 
manager merge folder and put it into our patch folder, it is now not considered a quote unquote clean patch. So that backup patch folder that I had you create, you're going to want to just copy the contents from it and put it into your patch folder. So then that way it is basically a brand new squeaky clean patch folder and then go ahead and merge your .dai mods. Now the .dai mod, mod manager will let you know if there is something funky with your patch folder should you forget, but it is just good practice to before you go ahead and remerge to put the clean patch folder in. Now make sure though that you still have your backup copy of your patch folder just in case you ever need it again. Once that is done, the other thing to note is that every time you launch Frosty with a new mods or you've remerged your .dai mods because you changed something out there, you do need to go back and also delete that mod data folder. That mod data folder a lot of times is the cause of not being able to launch something through Frosty or to get an infinite black screen. So if you ever do come across that for whatever reason, just delete that mod data folder and it should help move everything along. Now, the other additional thing to note is that now that you're using both .dai mods and Frosty mods together, you have to launch your game through the Frosty mod manager. So you can't just do what you used to do with the .dai mods version. You do have to remember to launch your game through the Frosty mod manager. Now, one troubleshooting thing to let you know about is sometimes you might load into a game after installing either Frosty Mods or both of them together and find that it's not loading correctly or you'll get a notice that the patch version isn't working. One thing that you can do is open up your regular patch folder. So the one that is in your Dragon Age Inquisition game currently within that update folder, and you'll want to edit the package.mft file. You can do that by just right clicking it and opening it up with either Notepad++ or just Notepad. You'll see there that you have a version number and you just want to up it by either one or two, or you can be like me and have upped it by a lot just because I've been playing around with mods for a really long time. If you do have to go this route to make everything play nice, something to note is that you're going to need to make sure that every single time you update this um, patch folder, and that you change your version number along with it because you will not be able to load in to a save file if you've created a patch number that is higher than what the game has right now. So that is just something to bear in mind. But y'all, that's it. That is how you combine the Adot DAI and Frosty mods to play nice together in Dragon Age Inquisition. Hopefully this helped if you are having any trouble making everything work together. If you do have any questions, leave it in the comments down below or find me on Twitch. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your night and or day, depending on where you are in the world. And I will catch you next time. Bye, guys.